Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sick MRI, and this is a patient who was born in 1986, and she went for a well visit to her OB-GYN, her annual visit, and the doctor was worried that there might be something palpable on the right side, thought there was an ovarian cyst, so they did an ultrasound in the office, and they confirmed what they thought was just a benign ovarian cyst, and so they wanted to follow it at six months to make sure it went away, and so after six months, the patient went back, and the cyst did not go away. It looked just the same. And so they got an MRI to see what was going on. So this is a view we're looking right at the pelvis. We see something down low. This is the bladder filled with fluid. This is the uterus, which is a little bit big here. This is the right hip to get oriented. Here's the left hip over here. You can see the aorta branching off into the other blood vessels at right and left iliac arteries. And if we go to the left, we see there is something abnormal in the left pelvis. This is where we'd expect the ovary to be. So there's a complex lesion here. It's pretty bright on this. And the uh, bladder has bright fluid. And also there's a little bit of bright fat over here. So this could be either fatty or fluid. And if we go towards the right-hand side in the front, we see that there's something big and complex here on the right-hand side. This is a much larger lesion. There's areas that are dark within it. There are septations within it. And there are these sacs of, uh, sacs of brightness here these different loculated components that are bright. And this is the bladder here getting pushed down and out by this big thing on the right-hand side. We can look at this from different angles. This is one we're looking from the side. And when we look from the side, we can see the spine, the tailbone over here. We can also see this big, complex lesion here in front of the pelvis. This is the muscles in the front of the pelvis here, this dark band. Here it is, and this is the uterus. This is the cervix down below. And this is the very top of the uterus, so it's right between the muscles and the uterus, big right-sided lesion. So the question is, what is this thing? The patient also had a little bit of free fluid in the pelvis, which is pretty common. So to figure this out, we did a view like this, where we can see fat in the front of the pelvis is bright. And we see fluid back here is bright in the back. And we see this big thing here is bright. So again, this could be fat, or it could be fluid. We can't tell yet. So what we do is put up a view where we suppress the fat. All the subcutaneous fat, every, fat everywhere will turn black. Anything left bright will be fluid. And here we go. This is the fat suppressed image. And we note that this thing is not fluid. It looked like it was probably fluid before, but now we realize this is not fluid. This is fat. See the fat get dark, and so did this. So this is a complex fatty signal intensity lesion. This is what we call an ovarian dermoid or teratoma. These are very common benign lesions. There's one on the left here, doesn't have as much fat, and the one on the right that has lots of fat. And so here we go, Bi bilateral ovarian dermoids, here's the left-sided, right-sided. They have areas that are sometimes fatty, they can have sebaceous material, they have teeth and hair within them. And on the left-hand side, there's not too much fat. This gray area may be partly fatty or maybe related to sebaceous material. And some of these areas are bright, may have a little bit of fluid within them, but this is predominantly fatty here on the right-hand side. So they'll definitely need to go in there and remove both these ovarian dermoids, and the patients usually do very, very well. And that's it, a case of bilateral ovarian dermoids.